So before I start, man, we're gonna sit down with Mark. Prayers up to Mick Mick Turner and his family, man. Um, he passed Saturday. Shout out to his friends, man, close friends, his family, Kurt Reno, Eric Brown, and the rest of y'all boys, man. Y'all stay strong. Um, if anybody, man, going through anything sad, feeling lonely, man, depression, get you some help, man. Uh, talk with some friends. Talk with somebody. Take care of your mental. It's very important. Um, Mick, we love you, man. Rest well. So I want to sit down with Mark today. I had the chance to sit down with Tracy Lamont, man, straight out of Virginia. Uh, cool guy, man, getting his music together. Um, got a lot going for itself. 2023 on the way. He got some music coming. Ask y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all check it out. What's up, Mr. Ross, man? What's up, man? How you? Hey, man, everything's up. I won't complain at all. I know that's right. Same this way, man. All is well. Just been busy. Have you been busy? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's how it's supposed to be. You know it, you know it. It's a constant grind, baby. Oh um, man, I definitely appreciate you doing the sit down with me. Hey man, I appreciate you reaching out. You know, for yeah. For, yeah, I seen you do the homie video, uh, video joint, and I seen a couple other joints. So yeah. I like how you do the thing, bro. Yeah, thank you for tapping in, man. Stay locked in with me. We work. Yeah, absolutely. You know I will. Um, I ain't gonna hold you long, man. We gonna jump right up into this thing. Um, right. Talk about talk about what gave you the idea to produce music and eventually turn it into being an artist. Well, honestly, rap came first. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. rap was was my first passion. I started kind of just writing at nine over like songs on the radio, whatever was popping, Dipset, whoever was on, and then um, I stumbled on the Jada Kiss and like. Well, I mean, I've been listening to him, but like around 04 was when I really started to take it serious. And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm a, this, this, this my shit. And then I got uh, a keyboard and uh, Ableton for my pops. He like, he just gave me this drink. He was, he used to DJ, not really on a big scale, but like online and stuff like that. Um, so he just was like, man, this program, woo -woo. I had already been working with Fruity Loops like here and there just messing around. And he gave me that drink and man, I, I fell in love with the program. Um, and, and, and I saw the value very early on in being able to produce for yourself. Like ha getting YouTube beats and, um, I, I was early on to knowing that you you had to own this stuff. You you had to go and lease these beats and shoot. I was like 16, I couldn't afford, you know, to be leasing no beats. So I was like, you know what I can afford? To spend time making beats. Right. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? So, so that's what I started doing, just, just making beats and, and going crazy. Like making beats, releasing projects, whatever. That's what's up, man. Um, I listened to the, to the joint, man, sorry for the wait. Um, enlighten us about it and tell us what feels and emotions that came into making that song. So, Sorry for the Wait really was like, just kind of like a tease or something to hold people while I was working on uh, Backwoods on Occasion. Not really working on it because it was really already done. It was just getting like the cover ready, getting the mixing done. Uh, yeah, really, that, that was mainly it. Oh, and, and a, a visual. I wanted to get a visual for it, which I did with Jim, with the homie Jimmy. We got avoidance um, and had a minor. So, so yeah, that, that's really what it was. And, and the, the feeling behind it and really like a theme for, for, for my music moving forward is just like over being over to, able to overcome, you know, adversity and challenges, no matter who and where and what situation you are. And to me, that track was like, confidence it is motivation it is it's just that it's hey you know no matter what comes across hey I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna get through that shit and i think they i think they the the not that not that you know self-care none of that stuff is bad but i think that with social media you have an inundation of information and, and sometimes you know we go to the extremes and, and we kind of lose reality and reality is you're not gonna be happy all the time you know, reality is you're not going to get what you want all the time, um, you know, exactly when you want it. Uh, so so I think that, that, that that's something that, that 
it needs to be said and it needs to be that that conversation needs to be had through the music hey bro you you got to get to it hey hey queen you you got to get to it like yeah it, it's up but cool you, you got to get to, get to it like we, we we we've become pretty entitled and and that's you know good that our that our parents that some of our parents were able to you know kind of afford us that or kind of i guess shield us from that but it's also you know it's an awakening you gotta get after it, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, but dog, uh, explain explain the passion, the drive, and the vision to keep your music going and where you wanted to take it. In the beginning, man, it, it, and even still now, it's really just about like shooting, about being in the gym and, and honing that skill. I love performing. That's like my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, like like. And mainly because I, I, I see the reactions that I get and I know what I'm talking about. So I know that I'm not not giving you no no BS. I know that, you know, I, I'm really filling you up with with, with with some high vibrational music. So, man, to see people's reaction, to see people get involved and to see the way that they, they digest it um it's 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 cool and i mean yeah it, everybody i think everybody wants to see their music lived out so those two things really really get me keep me going just like man just keep shooting and keep going and, and laying that laying everything brick by brick you know i i got fans that have heard i have a couple fans that have heard like the, my music under a different name you know and still with me today and still would be like, man, hey, remember when you and Stilo or remember when you and Raw was on, you know, whoop whoop. And I'm like, damn, bro, like, I was, that's, that's, you really taking it back. I mean, we was, we was using, uh, what's the program? Um, cool Edit Pro? I think we, like, we was using Cool Edit Pro. We wasn't even, we was thinking about Pro Tools, you know, or nothing like that. We, we was mixing everything on Cool Edit Pro and shit. So I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, all of that, that keeps me going. That's what I'm and as far as where I wanted to take me, yeah. I, I'll be an international touring artist. You know, if I do everything I'm supposed to do, if I, I if I keep keep pushing and, and being consistent, I think that that's the main thing, it's just consistency. You know, we, we don't have the luxury that people used to have of, of people, of mystique. You know what I'm saying? It, it used to be a mystique about an artist. You know, you didn't really know who they were outside of the music. You know, that was that was really all you knew unless you knew them personally. So now, like with social media, bro, everybody knows or feels like they know, you know, everything about you because, you know, you're on social media. So you gotta get feed people more. Or your or your stuff just has to be so great that, you know. You know, it, it's got to be some balance, you know, somewhere, somewhere in between. It does. Man, if you had a chance to to collab and shake hands with any artist, who would it be and why? Hmm. Hey boy, for sure. Um, I think people sleep on him as an artist. Uh, I, like, if you go back and listen to, like, Hit Story, and the Jay-Z interview and just a whole like, East versus West, like, man, the, the, the penmanship, you know, is it, there for real. The concepts are there and then he's making the beats. And I'm like, man, that's, that's, that's something I love. Like, damn, bro, you making your own beats and top tier, tier bars, top tier concepts. On, on wax, I think that, that that's amazing. So I, I feel like I can learn a lot, but I also feel like I can contribute a lot. Um, just as far as shoot work ethic and, and getting in there and really getting some hits made. That's what's up, man. Last question, I'm gonna let you out of here. All right, tell folks, tell folks how to look you up. Shout out to social media, and what can we expect going into 2023? All right, uh, so you can find me on TracyLamont.com. That's any and everything Tracy Lamont. Uh, I'm, I am Tracy Lamont on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. YouTube, I'm on there as well. And that's T-R-A-C-Y-L-A-M-O-N-T. Um, shoot, I got a mailing list, Tracy Lamont Music at Gmail. Like, tap in with me, several different ways to tap in with me. Um, and then lots of music. 
lot, lots of music. I'm not gonna say say too much other than you know, I had a side A to Backwoods on occasion, which dropped yesterday. So that's out now. So you know, if you got a side A, something else gotta it's gotta be another side to that. So you know, look out. We in a new month. Oh yeah. Hey dog, I appreciate you doing the sit down with me, man. Take care of yourself. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, bro. We'll tap right, in for sure. Oh yeah, stay up, man. Yes, sir. You too. All right.